Hey City Hill of Mansum, Toddy, it's Steve Wimble here and I'd like to speak today about the parable of the matches and the matchbox. See, in this matchbox I have in my hand, these matches lie inside this matchbox, comfortably at rest and at peace. There's actually not too much to a match. It's a simple piece of wood with a little bit of stuff stuck on the end that's flammable. But these matches, while they are in their box, in peace and in comfort, could never achieve the purpose that they have been made for. And when a single match is pulled out of that box and pressure is applied to it and it is struck against a hard surface, something amazing happens. It comes alight. Now this tiny little match with this tiny flame can set alight a log fire and can set alight a great forest burn. It can set alight candles, etc., etc. It is starting to achieve the purpose it was designed for. Our lives are like this little match. Thankfully, we don't burn up like this. We're still there year after year after year. But one thing that we do have in common with this match is that without some kind of force producing movement forward in our lives, we'll never achieve the purpose that we were made for. All of us would far prefer the peaceful comfort of just sitting, chilling, having it easy. And somehow God in his wisdom, the way he's designed us, he says, I don't want you to have comfort as your lot in life. I want you to have influence. I've designed you for greater purposes than that. And the great hand of the master plucks the match from the matchbox and he pushes, up against, pushes us up against some difficulties sometimes, against some challenges, against some growth opportunities, and suddenly the flame gets set ablaze in a far deeper way. And you see, this year has been a tough year for so many, many people. But through it all, I believe God is setting a light our lives and he wants us to burn with ever increasing brightness to influence others for his kingdom. So the same Jesus who said, you are the light of the world, speaks into our hearts and he says, I've designed you to burn. I've designed you to have influence. I've designed you to have impact. I trust that today as God disturbs our comfort, that he would set our hearts ablaze to touch many others for him. Hope you have a good day. God bless.